Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. I am super pumped for today's video. Now, this is probably one of my most excited videos to make because ever since Gwyneth did come out to the game, I've wanted to build her. I just, I love the way her system works. She's just, she's entrancing to watch. If you use her, just watching the arrows, like, I, I don't know, it sounds so basic, but it's so fun. So we are going to get her ascended today and then we're going to push some campaign and see what we can do with her. Okay, so before we get into it, I am going to clear my friends list on all my accounts before you, uh, before I upload this video. So if you do want to add any of my accounts, it's just going to be, I'll come back a day later and hit accept all or whenever. So it's the top four accounts there. Just search Vulcan and then look at those ones and add me if you want to add me. Like I said, I'm not going to pick and choose. It's just going to be accept all and we'll see what happens. So going over to ascending, let's do this. I'm actually pumped about this. This is the best feeling in the game. Now, what we're going to have to do, because we've got the, um, we've got the legendary plus Hogan in there and we basically for the level she's at we need all heroes to be legendary We're gonna have to make another Legendary hero. We're gonna go with Hendrik We're one copy away from being able to legendary plus him and he's just the one I want to build on this account because he just synergizes so well with Gwyneth He's her dad and he works so well with it. It's fantastic. I love it So first thing we're gonna do is get Hendrik to legendary So that we have that extra legendary hero then we're gonna go over to Gwyneth We're gonna drag down to Hogan and let's do it yes okay let's do that yes perfect that's the mythic plus i was actually thinking that was my ascension so everyone that noticed that i noticed it too but now we go ascended this is this is the big daddy the big daddy let's do it ascended yes stat buff nice what's the attack go to 21 perfect yes this is a double upgrade ah confirmation that feels so good max level 240 absolutely perfect okay let's have a look here now i need to level you up to level 140 i think it is yep boom thank you and now let's see if we can we can actually we might see if we can get all these guys up to 141 oh no that's that's max okay i really need to get some legendary plusing going on i just have no more fodder at all so we're going to just dump the rest of the levels the the one remaining level into her okay i've got it with this one um, increases attack speed by 15% for three seconds when a critical, critical strike occurs because if we have a look at her passive she, she gets that passive crit buff so she does crit quite often so th I feel like that's the best one to have on her and I'm still early game so I don't have that many anyway uh, the gear wise I have got the uh, the two the two pieces of mythic I've got the other two slots but I've put them on my series to make him a bit more tanky in front of her because the thing with Gwyneth is you really do need a tanky hero in front of her to stop enemies getting onto her. Once enemies are on her, she becomes fairly useless. Like her her like her drawing her bow takes so long that just normal attacks will interrupt her and she'll just she basically won't do anything. So you need a good tank, so that's why I put him. I'd really love this uh, this haste buff on her, but um you know, he needs the tankiness. So that's where that's at. This one doesn't really have any stats that would benefit Gwyneth, so I don't care. Plus, it's got the Wilder bonus, so that's really nice. This weapon does have Wilder bonus, but hey, Gwyneth's the main star here, so we want the damage. We've only got this one to level 7. I feel like um, getting it to level 20 would be really nice. Ability effects raised by 50%. Um, I'm not sure whether, whether that'll apply to the stun once she gets the stun and stuff like that, but hey, ability effects increased. Um, not too bad. That'd be the burn and all that. Increased damage increase the accuracy reduction on enemies with her ultimate we're not going to go through it all you want to do is get flaming lightning arrows and then it's happy days so let's jump over here into campaign and go begin so this is the lineup i'm really enjoying with it sometimes i do use arden sometimes i use lucius sometimes i use like for the haste buff and sometimes i do use the twins i use the twins mainly in riz and in um Actually, you know what we might do? We might start off with the Riz, because I really want to show off how fast she can show, shoot the arrows. Uh, and ignore my team. My team's not perfect. It's still early days. But uh, let's go this. And this is the this is the basic lineup that I use for Riz at the moment. And basically, the twins die too quick because Riz burns them, and they just... They, they, they die pretty quick. But it's not too bad. Like, they get through to, like, 20 seconds remaining. But, uh, but yeah, the haste buff on the twins super nice for this super nice so let's have a look and see how fast she can actually shoot the arrows because it, it's actually it's actually pretty good um so that's the standard shooting speed it's fairly slow um we've got a little haste buff there um 
think that was a Strilder's haste buff. Now the twins are about to dance and then look at her shoot her arrows. It is so satisfying. So quick. Just so quick. And all these have been flaming arrows. You don't care about lightning against Riz. You just want really the flaming arrows just to stack that, uh, that burn. And <laughs> we are getting a lot of flaming arrows. And like I said, the twins, I was so pumped when I pulled that second copy because they just work so well with her. It's actually amazing. Um, there you go. The twins got real low, but they're, they're, they're staying up there. But yeah, this haste buff, that's why I do like using her with Lycus sometimes, uh, just to get those arrows off a little bit quicker at the start of the battle. Um, but yeah, the team I'm using at the moment is just like the, the, the well, I, I feel like it's like the, the combo play team. I just really, really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're not doing too bad. Uh, before I had her ascended, I was normally doing around 9 million damage, um, with this team. And, uh, and the twins and Estrilda and Lucius all have fairly average gear on them. Like I just, I can't be bothered swapping gear all the time for these things. So, you know, that'll affect it. But hey, forget about it. If we crack 10, I'd be pretty happy on this account because we're still really early. Hanging out to get to uh, chapter 15 and unlock the uh, Stargazer. That's okay, 10 mil, nice. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Hey, twin surviving as well. That extra copy that I got in those summons, that's helped them out a lot. So 11 mil, not too bad. That's how fast she can shoot her arrows. Really fun. Uh, okay, back to the team. So, this is the team. Uh, Rowan, sometimes I put it in the front row. So, so what happens with Hendrik? Uh, we're, we're talking combo plays here. Sometimes normal attacks interrupt his knockback on the first one. So sometimes I actually put Rowan in the front row um, to get Rowan to take the first hit because he's always immune to the first hit. And then Hendrik runs up behind, knocks someone back, and then steps in front of Rowan. And then it's not too bad. Against this team, Hendrik is actually a bad option because uh, he's got the knockback. But what I want to be doing is targeting the, the Vedan to hit the front row enemy. So I don't want to knock them out of range of the hit. Uh, so that's why we swap it around. Obviously, Rowan is another one you want to have in the middle. It's just you play it around with the enemies. So because the Vedan's running forward, having her in the middle means I'm going to be hit, able to hit three enemies. Um, so it's not too bad. Uh, Sirius is fairly tanky and also the Sylvain is going to jump over here and attack Lawson for a bit. So it's not too bad. So let's see. Let's stop talking and let's see how it goes. I was stuck on this stage before, but let's see if we can actually get it. Okay, those arrows are doing huge damage. <laughs> we melted them. Uh, we may die here because now she's in melee range against them. Uh, can we stun the Sylvina with that? No, we cannot. Uh, okay, the potion's coming into play there. Wow, we're, we're getting some good damage. Oh, just get a burn. Okay, nice. Got it. Again, that was, that was definitely a lot more damage. Those auto attack arrows do so much. That's so good. Okay, that's that one down. Nice. Moving on to the next. Uh, okay, so this is one where we want Hendrik. So, we'll put Hendrik in, see if he gets interrupted. He probably won't. But with this combo, we're going to hit all five enemies. Um, as you can see, all five took damage from that arrow because you've got the link from Lawson as well. And it's just, it's so fun. It's actually so fun. Uh, Sirius did die. We do need to try and get that Sirius Mythic. I am just short on fodder and then we will be able to get him there And I feel like that will really help the team out as well I'll have to save up a few points just to unlock his uh, signature weapon because that will help him out even more and this this team This is this is the same uh, More suck against for Sirius because he's just getting trashed by them But uh, this is the same we should be able to do the knockback with the Hendrik Yep and then go like that. The problem here is because my Rowan is in the uh, back row, back top, he's not actually healing the uh, the Sirius with the potions. What I can do is, like I said, when I put Rowan in that front row, he can actually heal the other tank and he only misses the bottom corner hero, which is the Lawson, which doesn't really matter. So we might swap that up in this one and have a look. Let's see. Okay. Uh, hopefully he gets immune to the Savvy's first spear. Otherwise he's just instantly dead. Let's have a see. Uh, no, okay, you got him into something else, and that's the problem. That <laughs> that didn't work too well. We, we're gonna have to put Rowan back again. Uh, okay, we, we just had the damage, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. So, the problem with Hendrik is he, I really need to get him to a higher ascension tier and get him some better gear on him and get him tanky because he, um, he does do that jump back and he just basically melts in two seconds. So, I need him tankier. I need to really use teams that don't attack my back row so that he doesn't jump out of the way as well. But hey, we will get there. So, this one here, I'm probably going to leave it like this. So, I want Rowan in the front row on this one because I want his potions to hit the series because series is going to take a lot of damage right here. 
So let's try it. Let's see. So we get the knockback. Oh, we missed the knockback. What happened there? Okay. <laughs> As you can see, things don't always work to plan. Uh, that's just going to be a retry. Okay. Let's just see if that was RNG. If it was RNG, I'd be happy because Hendrik didn't do his knockback, which is really strange. Okay, he's getting interrupted by something and I don't know what it is. Uh, rip. Okay, the damage in this chapter is huge compared to the last chapter. Okay. This is where we need to think about things. I think what we need to do is just target him directly and do this and see, I want to see where Hendrik moves to. This will be interesting. Okay, we can't put Lawson in the top corner because he just melts. <laughs> the, the axes, you, you, gotta, you gotta consider the axes. The axes melt Lawson, okay. So we gotta put Lawson, like I just kinda wanna guarantee, but we could wait for RNG on the arrows, uh, that's okay. Unless we try this. Unless we try this. Yes, he is going to die instantly. I don't think this will work. Let's try. We're just going to mix it around a bit. And that's the thing with Gwyneth. You just got to keep mixing around and find something that does work. And eventually something will work. Because, you know, it's a bit of RNG and a bit of fun. And eventually, hopefully, yes. Okay, Sirius survived. That's really good. Getting Sirius to survive. And then we can lightning arrow the front and back rows together. Perfect. Okay. That's all we needed. Like I said, Sirius, pretty good. Like, I'm liking him. The synergy with Gwyneth, like I said, you get to that stage of a battle and everyone starts dying. As long as you get that knockback, you normally pretty get them in line with each other and you can get them with the lightning arrows. It's really nice. So this one uh, shouldn't be too bad. What we might do is put this there, this there. Because um, we want to <clears throat> we want to link that. Uh, we might even do this. So the idea behind this is, if I can knock this chick in the front top, if I can knock her back, then she'll be linked to Ira. They'll be both getting double damage from my arrows, and that way I can kill the Ira quicker because Ira is really annoying. Let's see. Let's see if we don't get interrupted. Okay, as you can see, Hendrik always gets interrupted on his knockback. I just, I can't make him work in the front row and get a knockback straight away. I don't know whether it's a level thing or it's just a base mechanic thing, but uh, but yeah, normally I have to put him in the back row. But hey, that was that that wasn't too bad anyway. Okay, uh, just I love I I just I just have so like it's if you haven't got a Gwyneth, I feel sorry for you. If you can re-roll and try and get one, I don't know. Just playing a Gwyneth account like makes this game so much fun. So we don't really want Hendrik to knock back, so we'll leave him in the front row because he seems to not knock back. Uh, let's just do this. Let's just let's just leave it. We shouldn't be too bad. Um, okay, he did knock back, which sucks, so we may have to swap him out. Uh, is this a boss stage? Not a boss stage. Okay. So we're going to drop Hendrik, uh, because we don't want knockbacks. We want that. Uh, we definitely still want her there. I'm going to do this. The other good thing about, the other cool thing about putting him, be, uh, serious behind the Rowan is that it guarantees he's going to get his knock up, which he uses like five seconds into the battle. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully... Rowan can survive a little bit. I really need to ascend my Rowan further, but I just don't have the copies. Uh, but we should be pretty good. That Strilda should go down. Sirius is surviving, which means we should get his ultimate right now. Yes. Gwyneth ultimate. Everyone's in range. Okay, no, we're dead. Okay, let's try that again. Like I said, with Gwyneth, you just got to watch watch the first few arrows. So that that's lightning fire. Good. That's lightning fire, better. That's lightning fire, but oh, we get interrupted by the Estrada. So in that case, where we get a couple off and then we miss, we can either try putting Lyca in there or we can try putting the horn on us, which I, I think I might try putting Lyca in there. So what we'll do is we'll put Lyca in this spot. We do lose that link damage, but I think it's okay. So we'll try this again. Okay, we get the knock up. And we get that third arrow. That's that's okay. We get the third arrow before we get the run through. Now we get the knockbacks here. And then we should get the ult. But I don't think we're going to have the damage to kill everyone. Wow, this isn't even a boss stage. This is hectic. Okay. Let's try Let's just try putting Rowan back there. Um, maybe this is one where we have to do this. And just snipe. Okay. This dude is really annoying. Morvis. Because he's like, if he hits... Uh, if he hits Gwyneth, it's like he stuns with like everything. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It just does. Uh, I'm going to try and kill him first. Oh, we're not getting the damage. We didn't get the crits. Oh, life's bad. 
If we get the knockback, maybe? Nah, okay. This is, th okay. Things, things escalated quickly in non-boss stages. And this is the thing I find with Gwyneth too. Like some, some comps she works against. This one where you have heroes pushing forward, she doesn't work too well against. Um, especially with the Estrilders. So what I'm going to try is, this was the original comp. Let's just try it again, but swap up the link. And, you know, RNG. RNG may affect it. Let's see. Um, okay, like I said, Morphus just absolutely destroyed me there. Uh, Gwyneth ult. Can we kill? Yes. Can we get that Estrilda? Get that Estrilda. Serious, please ult. Ser oh, damn it. Damn it. Walk, walk forward. What's your face? This guy. What's his name? Angelo, walk forward a little bit more so we can hit you with our arrows. And that's the other thing. When she's at full energy and they're all on your side of the field, nothing happens. Okay, let's... I feel like that one was close. If we get triple... Uh, okay, they, they just advance on her too quick and then we just get trashed. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. Okay. I can't believe this is... This is a non-boss stage. Oh, okay, okay, we've got this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap those two around. Uh, I think the Estrilda attacks the top and that's why we were getting trashed. So if we can get the Sirius to survive up the top a bit longer. Okay, as you can see there, Sirius missed his knock up, which really hurts the team. Let's go again. Uh, let's let's do this. Sirius missing the knock up really hurts the team. So if we can get a guaranteed knock up, oh, this is just bad. This is just all around horrible. This is just yikes. Nah, okay. Okay, this, this is one of those stages we're gonna have to come back because like, I know I can do it. It's just gonna take a lot of retries. And there we go. Took a few tries, actually swapped out the team, decided to drop the second tank, just leave Rowan in there as the, the, the fodder tank at the front. And as long as his potions stay on this table, you know, hopefully you can get there. And it actually worked out not too bad. So it took me about, probably six tries with this formation. Like the first try I got really close and then I had a really couple horrible tries, but then this one just sort of worked out with the RNG. The Leica haste buff was still nice. Um, and then obviously we still had the link. So we get the pushback here straight into the ultimate. That means the link targets are both taking double damage from that ultimate, which is really nice. And like this Morvis guy, like I, he's so annoying. But, uh, but yeah, we managed to get that one. That one looked fairly easy. All the other tries weren't that easy, but we're on to the next stage. Let's get to this boss stage at least. Uh, what chapter are we on? We're on 14. Damn, I want to get to 15 for this Stargazer. <laughs> we're not going to make it today. I think we I think we may need a few more levels, but let's go over here. Okay. So let's try this. Let's try this tank free team. Actually, no, we, we want the um, Hendrick in here to get the uh, pushbacks. Uh, but the damage is just good enough that it doesn't matter. Okay, nice. No need for, no need for tanks. <laughs> The sacrificial Rowan, not too bad. As long as he can set up his uh, stand, we're pretty good with Rowan. Uh, let's go here, okay. Estrilda, I, I really am not a fan of Estrilda. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop that for Hendrik. Hopefully Hendrik can knock the Estrilda back and that way we can hit all five enemies with this. Uh, I think that should work. Let's see if we can knock the Estrilda back. Okay, we, we were immune to the Estrilda's first hit. That's where Rowan works good. He was immune to that first hit and then Hendrik pushes forward. Obviously Hendrik not being tanky enough really hurts that whole sort of formation. Okay, what we're gonna try again. I would really love it if, I know it's not gonna work, but I'd love it if Hendrik could just knock back this Estrilda from the front. That way we could link the Estrilda to the Ira, which are the two big threats in this team. And that way we could hit them both with the lightning arrows twice. Uh, it would mean that Ogi doesn't get hit at all, but those two getting double damage would be perfect because Estrilda is annoying and she's the boss. And Ira is just, if she gets her ult, like, you know, normally you lose a few heroes by the time she gets her ult and then she just one shots everyone. So, please, please be able to do this. Like, I just can't make, if, if anyone knows, please let me know, but I just cannot make Hendrik get his knock back on the first hit when he's in the front row against anything that's not a common hero. Please. Like, like I said, he just gets interrupted every time. Okay, but we didn't get the knock back, but oh, we just missed the arrows. Okay, that sucks. That sucks. Strilda's low actually, but they're just gonna interrupt us all day here. Any potions left? Nah. Like I said, as soon as they get onto her, she's not she's not a Shimira where you carry the team. You need good tanks. And that is the one struggle with her in progression 
is that you need tanks and normally you're, not, you're just building one main carry hero. Let's do the thing that's gonna absolutely change the world and let's put one level into, ooh, two levels. Let's put two levels into him. That could really affect things. Who has the, the items before I, uh, before I look at this? Okay, Rowan has the horn, which doesn't really matter. He has grace, which doesn't really matter either. So, nah, everyone's dying so quick that it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so. I definitely think this, ooh, do, ooh, can he survive one hit from the Estrilda? That is the question. If he can survive one hit, Hendrik moves forward and then still put his link on, then we'd be good. Can this work? He survived the hit, he got the link on, yes! It worked! Please kill! Oh, they got through too quick, they got through my lines too quick, but can we ult here, if we ult? Ah, oh, okay. That could be a strat. Like, RNG could have been the thing. But hey, if we can get him to survive and then link, that's perfect. Okay, we got the link and we got the flaming arrow. The Estrilda run through really hurts us. We got the Estrilda down. Nice. We're going to ult here, hit everyone. Perfect. It's only Ogi. Yes. The pro strats. Okay, that's how I have to do it. I really need to get more copies of Lawson so that I can continue to do that into later game. But that is the combo. That is a good combo. Okay. Because I can't get Hendrik working, as long as Lawson can survive that one hit and put his link on, that's pretty much all I want Lawson to do. Survive one hit, put his link on. Once his link on, I don't really care. I feel like with high ascension, and if you got him leveled up, like if he was ascended right now, he'd make massive damage. But for now, I'm just I'm just after that link assist so that Gwyneth can dominate, and that is awesome. I really, really do enjoy that. That is perfect. Let's go to the next one. Okay, Sylvina is a real pain for me on this account. Like Sylvina is just, Sylvina is annoying. And especially when she's in the middle here. So it, it basically makes, so like I said, some comps make Gwyneth very, very much like obsolete. This is one of them. She can't hit more than one hero with her arrows unless you put it in the front row, but then she loses all the crit and crit damage buffs. So what are we going to do? We are going to go like this, I think. You know what I'm thinking? Because Lawson is just I, like I just I just need a sacrificial hero. I might leave Lawson there and see if and leave Gwyneth like so. Sylvina's the threat, so I'm going to see if we can start here. So with Sylvina, the thing about Gwyneth is no matter where Sylvina jumps, if Gwyneth is opposite her, the first arrow will hit Sylvina and then she'll target something else. But if I put make Sylvina attack Lawson here, she'll still be in front of him, in front of her. So hopefully Gwyneth will keep shooting her. Then Hendrik will start knocking her back. Hopefully we can get some happy days plays. Let's see. Okay, like the one shot. Expected that. Okay, we got her. Okay, she's not still attacking her, which sucks. And we're getting melted. Uh, ultimate, yes. Please stun the please stun the Sylvina. Let's attack her. Yes, can we stun with the coins? We missed the stun with the coins, which sucks. We still killed her. Nice. Nice. Okay. Please, please survive. Knockbacks, yes. Lightning arrows, hit everyone, yes. The plays. It worked nothing how I expected it to, but we got it done. That's all you wanted. That was a horrible team for her. Like, really horrible. So, this is another good team for her. So, I actually like... The idea of just melting two enemies quickly and instead of spreading the damage over all five. So as long as we do that, we get the spread. Then we're pretty much good. Two enemies pretty much instant die. There's one left at full health, but hey, once you've got other enemies dead that quick, it doesn't really matter. That's really nice. Really pumped about that. Okay, I... Lawson is the next one we're really tough. Actually, no, we want more, one more Hendrix so we can get him to Mythic. And then, you know, we'll get we'll get enough to get him ascended over time. But Lawson is the next one we really want to target. Um, okay, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Dan goes up to make this work. Oh, wait, bad call, bad call. Because we're, we're, we're knocking him out of range. Uh, do we just have the flat damage to be able to destroy everyone anyway? Okay, I think, I think we've got the damage just to get it done. It's really strange that some stages are just horribly hard and then other stages you, you just do a completely ho horrible combo and stuff just works out. Peachy. Nice. Okay. Let's do this one. Who was the boss? Who was the boss? Vidan. I don't like you, Vidan. You're such a mean person. Okay. So, once again, we've got this Sylvina, which sucks. I might put him up there and Rowan there and we're going to have to drop you. Let's do something really weird like this again. I don't know. So the problem is Lawson's just going to die. 
and I kind of want the Sylvina to kill Lawson. Like, I don't have a good counter for it. I don't have a good counter for the Sylvina. Like, I, I have a Nara on this account, but it just, it makes me lose my faction bonus, and my Nara's not that strong. We could try it. We could try it, but then the problem is my, the, my main tech, like, so I'd have to drop that and put that there. Or maybe put, um, see, I really want her. This is, this is the trouble. Maybe I could put Rowan there. Let's try this. Hopefully Rowan gets immune to her first attack. No, she, he, he got immune to the Hogan's attack. So that doesn't, that doesn't work. Rip, rip the absolute dream. I mean, we still got some decent damage out. Okay. Okay, that, that, that didn't work. So, so the Nara's not going to help. We just got to have a sacrificial lamb, which is going to be the Lawson. Unless I can make Rowan the sacrificial lamb, but he's going to be immune to one. So if we do that and then throw like a Lucius in here, um, let's do it this way. So my idea is, let, let me walk you through it and then we'll see none of this happen. She's going to attack Rowan, but he'll be immune to the first one. So he'll survive for a little bit, distract her a little bit. That will allow Sirius to generate his ultimate. Hopefully she'll have her shield off by the time he generates his ultimate. We get the knockback and then we kill everyone. <laughs> Pro plays, let's go. Okay, immune to the first hit. So he's surviving. Okay, he just, he gets absolutely trucked there. Can we get the ultimate off? Okay, we need to kill the Vidan before he goes bats because that really sucks for us. Um, and we just, we're not going to have the damage to kill these guys at all. Okay. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. We, we can get this. We can get this. Uh, what if we go like this? What if, I wonder who she attacks after she kills Rowan. We did get her with that one arrow. But it wasn't that we, the Vedan goes to bats too quick for us. It's just it's just that little bit too quick. Um, oh, if Sirius got his ult again, that would have been nice. Okay, I feel like we might get this one. This might this, we'll do a couple more tries. This might be one that I've got to try off camera. But I don't know. I don't know. This might be just one of those ones that I'm never going to get, and I'm just dreaming. But hey, let me dream. The, don't deny me that dream. Vedan went bats. Damn it, we didn't kill him. Okay, that's dead. You know we're going to go off camera. Don't, no guarantees we're going to come back and clear this stage, but but we'll see how we go because this is going to take a few spam retries. Just when I say a few spam retries, <laughs> we get it the very next try. Here we go. Uh, that was the comp. Let's play. It just worked out well. RNG was good. Uh, we got crits. We got chain. We got chain fire arrows like every time. We managed to get the knockback before Vidan went bats. I was hoping to kill him before he went bats, but as you can see, he got it there. Rowan survived to ultimate, which was huge. And then we managed to kill the, the uh, Isabella there and then get another knockback. I was worried here that we might not kill the Sylvina and then we'd be screwed, but we did. And then he, we got him just before he went to bats. So that was happy days. That's another boss stage down. We are punching through this campaign. This is, this is pretty happy days. So all back row enemies, let's drop you. Let's put Hendrick in. So these are the ones that, so this is the kind of team that should work with this layout. If not, we'll just put Lawson up front. So yeah, there you go. You get the knockback straight away. You hit the four enemies, two of them are getting absolutely destroyed. And then you got one guy at full health, but hey, he's not hes not gonna cause any big problems. I really do wanna get Hendrick to like a high level, high ascension for my progress on an account because I just feel like his abilities are so good, but they just don't work when he's weak compared to the stage you're fighting. So I feel like Endgame Hendrick might be decent, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but hey, that's what this account's for. We will find out. So let's try this again. Can we survive one hit, get the link up? Yes, that's all we wanted. We got the link up, now everyone's burning and it's GG. I really do like the series, the combination with series. Um, sometimes I can put the horn on series, get him to ult that little bit quicker, which really does benefit it. And it's just, I don't know. I'm really, I really do like him, and his signature weapon looks nice. Uh, I feel like, again, similar. Like I feel like, like end game PVP, and this is just theory. I'm not at end game on any of my accounts, but I feel like end game PVP. He could be really good with his um, passive that mitigates damage if it's less than like 10 percent of his max HP with the signature weapon that boosts his max HP by heaps. I just feel like it might be nice. We're gonna wait and see, but hey. That is what it is. Please, Savius, attack Sirius. Yes. Ah, uh, we still didn't get the link. Rip. Rip. That's all right. We're still going to get it. That's okay. GG, team. GG. Nice. 
not too bad at all. And the Rowan is going to synergize. Like I just, I just really like this team I've got going. It does lack a little bit of that hard CC, but you have got uh, Sirius with the knockups. You've got Gwyneth with the stuns. You've got Rowan with the stun if he gets to ult. You've got the knockback on the ultimate of Sirius to go with that knockup on his like passive with three hero knockup. You've got the knockback by... Actually, you've got a fair bit of CC. It's just not... It's basically just not an Arden Tassie CC, <laughs> which I'm not used to. So, uh, Lawson's not going to survive here. Lawson's not going to survive anywhere because you have Savius down there and you have throwing axes up there. Let's uh, let's try this. We'll just hit every enemy and see what happens. Hopefully we get chain stuns. Okay, the Savius damage is just insane at these stages of campaign. Um, okay, we got no chance there. This is just a bad lineup for us because we got throwing axes up top, and we got that down bottom. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think. Let me think. I will get this. Let's just try this one. Let's try this. Uh, maybe. Man, when when my series dies that quick, you know it's big damage. That's savage. That's savage. Oh. Okay. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. We can, we can, we can try this one a couple more times. If not, ooh, we're stuck. Okay, okay, this one. So, let's see if he can knock back here and get a link on. Because that would be really nice. Okay, everything. The okay. The problem is I'm targeting the Verk and the Verk runs away. That's that's the big problem here. And that Verk at like two HP doing his arrow shooting is really frustrating. So let's try this. I'm curious. I'm curious. Actually, I might swap Lawson to front. Okay, Verk's dead. Get Grizzle down. We're not going to kill those two. No chance. No chance. Okay, we're going to try this. Please get the link off. Please get the link off before you die. Damn it. We might try the lot. We, we're going to have to drop the Lawson and put Lyca in, I reckon. It's just, it's just the way it's got to be. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. He's protecting... Oh, Rowan. I, th I thought Rowan died already. Okay, he's protecting Rowan. He wasn't doing too bad. Hey, if we can try that again and get Rowan to his ultimate, I don't know what RNG we need to happen, like what sorcery has to happen. To, to, nah, that was never going to work. <laughs> okay, but... We're going to drop you. We're going to put you there. We're going to put Lyca. I, like, I really just needed a late copy of Brutus so I can get that few seconds of immunity in stages like this. Uh, let's let's try that. Maybe the haste buff helps. Okay, it's kind of helping, but we need a tank to survive. So, swapping things up. I don't think we can do this. Can we? There's a couple potions left. Oh, the potions didn't trigger. We were too far back. That sucks. So, I'm thinking this. This way, at least we can get a tank to survive a little bit longer. Like, look at that savvy. It's just one-shots things. It's disgusting. Get your ultimate, please. Yes. Rowan, survive. Rowan, ultimate, please. Please, Rowan. Yes. Yes. Get the attack buff. Now, now we just need chain lightnings. And then we need an ultimate. Yes. Oh, nah. Gol You're never going to beat a Golas from there. Golas is just, like, super tanky. Like from this stage and he's just never going to die I wish the ult just, I, we, I wish Gwyneth's ult just hit the whole screen it would be so much better oh we got a knockback I did, hey we didn't get that last time that's pretty good that's pretty good we kill the Verk okay Sirius is going to ult here which is really good for us if we get a chain lightning here okay we've got stuns this could be the, this could be the run this could be the run we're going to hit that K-Source before he lands. Okay, 1v1 K-Source. I think we should have this. He doesn't have the interrupts. Yes! That wasn't even a boss stage. Rip me. Damn, that sucks. Oh, that was a boss stage. I think I saw a flag go down. Nice. Let's see if we get any goodies from all those stages. Because sometimes you get a piece of gear at one of them. But I, oh, I'm only a legendary plus gear. Rip. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't amazing. But was that a plate helmet that we can put on... It was, I think, that we'll put on you. Even though we've got, you know, light bearer heroes that we're using. He's my main tank at the moment. <clears throat> but 
Let's jump back over here. I don't know. I feel like we're going to be stuck on campaign now. It was a fun progression. It was fun. It was it really fun? Uh, but now, we're, okay, this is like this is like the nightmare team. This has got everything we don't want to fight against, and we can't really use you because it's not going to work. Let's let's try that. We'll have one crack at this. See what happens. If we get close, maybe we'll go again. But man, we melt. We 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 do some good damage with those arrows. Uh, we're out of range now, yeah. I feel like that's not too bad. We can progress through that one. But we're not going to have a crack at that one yet. I'm going to have a quick check of the tower. I feel like... I can't remember if I was stuck in this tower. Running multiple accounts, you forget where you're stuck at. <laughs> so, let's have a quick check here and see where we got where we got up to in this. If, if this is easy, it's probably something I'll do off camera. Because... Uh, <laughs> The dominance is just too easy, and yeah, we've got. I feel like we've got a few stages we can climb through here, and really progress. But on the account, so on this account, letting you guys know my plans going forward, because I like this is probably my most enjoyable account at the moment. Like I love playing this account; it's just so fun with Gwyneth, uh, especially now that she's ascended. Now Gwyneth is not coming off my wish list. Normally, like like I've said with the Shamir and stuff, once I get something ascended, I take it off my wish list. Gwyneth is too fun. She's going to five stars. I don't care. She's staying on that wish list forever. It's just the way it is. Uh, but for this account, what, what my goals are is I really want to get an Ascended serious and test him out because I feel like he's going to be amazing. Uh, and, you know, we're only Labyrinth resets. Wow. That, that And this is another one of those horrible teams for the Gwyneth because you can't hit multiple enemies, which sucks. But let's try and kill one of these things and see what happens. Kill the blender now. If Sirius can get an ult off as well. Oh, Sylvana jumped on us. Okay, th this is like a really easy stage, but we're going to struggle hard on it because of the layout, which sucks. Um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, anyway, I'll just, I'll just keep retrying and talk. <laughs> and we'll just keep failing. But yeah, I really want to get Sirius Ascended, which basically we're just fodder and um, Labyrinth resets away from that. So he will definitely get there, which I'm really pumped about. We'll do videos on him as we progress him because he is a really nice hero. I really do enjoy him. Um, after that, we're going to be looking at Lawson. For my... Because we are going to get those couple cards for the uh, Stargazer. I'm going to put the twins in there. I just feel like putting anything that's not a Celestial or a Hypergene uh, in the... In the Stargazer, I just, I don't know. I just feel like if you're going to get that guaranteed hero, get the rarer one. So that's that's my opinion. Twins, I'm going to do because I'd love to get the twins up for this account. Because like I said at the start when we did that guild hunt, uh, the twins buff is just so nice with the Gwyneth. It just becomes real dominance. So that's what we're going to do there. We're going to get jumped on here by the Sylvina, which sucks. Uh, and then basically besides that, Hendrick is the one I really want to build. Obviously, Rowan as well. This is the main team I want to go for. Um, and Lawson. Because Lawson, I really want to test him with some good damage. Because I feel like he's going to be an insane damage dealer. But having him in the lead, it just doesn't work. But the link in itself, when you're using a Gwyneth, is just worth it. So, that is going to be it for this video, guys. That's the Gwyneth. That's her Ascended. I'm pretty pumped. I'm going to keep trying to push that campaign off camera because I really want to get to Chapter 15 and unlock the Stargazer because we do get those five free tickets from the Voyage. So, that is it. Let me know what you think of Gwyneth. I absolutely love her. She's my favorite character in the game at the moment. Just so fun to play with. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.